Recently, we ran a poll asking you why many companies opt for more generic task briefs as part of their interview process, such as presenting your plan for your first 90 days in the role, rather than more detailed bespoke tasks. Here are the results, and this video is gonna briefly unpack the findings. Setting specific tasks often necessitates companies to share sensitive information and data to inform the candidate's approach. This could be information on staff turnover, or employee surveys, for example. 5% of you feel that this is what is stopping hiring companies from opting for a more tailored brief as companies have fears over confidentiality. If this is a concern, we would recommend using a hypothetical scenario and data as the objective here is to assess the candidate's general creativity and approach to problem solving, not necessarily for them to start solving the hiring company's specific problems now before they've actually started in the role. 23% of you feel hiring companies opt for off-the-shelf tasks as they believe they're actually the best format. In our experience at Hawkwood, generic task briefs such as First 90 Days can work well, but only right at the end of the assessment process. By this late stage, the candidate should have enough company-specific context from the various interviews to come up with something of sufficient specificity and depth. Additionally, setting tasks at an early stage of the hiring process before the candidates are fully bought in does heighten the risk of low effort tasks and candidate dropouts, the topic of a later video. Finally, the largest group of you, 58%, feel that highly generic task briefs are a result of a lack of time and effort investment from the hiring company. Whether true or not, this is a big problem as it can lead to less effort and time being reciprocated by the candidates. But if they really want the job, they'll put in the effort, won't they? You'd have thought so, but if candidates suspect you're not ultra serious about making this hire and setting it up for success, consciously or subconsciously, they may start hedging their bets and not fully committing to the assessment process. If this happens, you'll see a lower standard of presentations leading to a lower benchmark and more of a need to rely on guesswork as to the candidate's true potential. A considered task can genuinely inspire candidates as through executing on it, they begin to visualize themselves in the role. Through this, the hiring company has created a platform for depth of thought, true creativity, and imagination. This should set up a series of high quality presentations, a high benchmark, and a much easier job offer acceptance process as the candidates come away from the task feeling energized and are psychologically already one foot in the door.